Then to take it further, I put this on my old printer. I have an Ender 3 Max, which comes out of 2019. But once again, now I print it at 205 degrees because the printer only prints at 100 mils a second. And I think I have it on, on I use Prusa Slicer. On Prusa Slicer, I think I have it at 80 mils a second. So if you have a look at this quality, the quality is actually very good because the printer is printing so slow and it's got upgraded dual fans. So I can up the speed a bit on this printer and it should still give me the same results. But once again, have a look at 205 if it's, the nozzle is hot enough, if you need to take it to 210. So ideally the faster you wanna print, the higher your temperature needs to be. But now you need to be careful as you go and don't go too high. A quick indicator to see if you're printing too fast or too hot is on your overhangs, like this overhang here, you'll start to see the print degrades quite quickly. You'll, you'll see it starts making like a blobbiness and it's very uneven. So that's a, a good indication that you're printing too hot or printing too fast. Because if you're printing too fast, basically too hot, your fans doesn't get the opportunity to cool it quick enough. But I'm sure if I have, if I print, use these same prints and I run it on my K1 Max, which is an enclosed printer, it's got an additional fan on the side. You can even crank that thing up higher because it cools faster, so that means you can print faster. So that's basically it. Your rule, if you want to print faster, print hotter, but also your cooling needs to match what you're printing at. Okay guys, so that's just a video I wanted to do just explaining temperatures on filaments and it's very important. This, this I just did on PLA. The same thing applies for PETG. Stick to your standard profiles in your slicer. PETG, you don't want to go cool it in 230. 230 plus, ideally at 240. The same thing with ABS. ABS is also going to sit around 240 degrees, if not higher. Depending on your printer, depending on your print speed that you're going to do. This is not 100% set in stone. The figures you, and the values and settings you have on here. You have room to play. Just know your printer and know your temperature. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was an insightful video. If you have any other tips and tricks or any other things to add, comment down below. If you want me to do any other topic-specific videos that you would like to see, comment down below. As always, hit that like, hit that follow. Happy printing.